If you're wanting to see sleek, fast sports cars, you're watching the wrong show. These early tractors are the same as the supercars of the collector car world. Just like those high-tech cars, these early tractors sell for hundreds of thousands of dollars. Sure, they don't have the speed, but they make up for it with their history and their unique designs. We're in the small town of Akalaka, Montana, where the Almond team will catalog a collection of early tractors that could bring big dollars. This impressive collection belongs to Harlan Mailing, a mechanic by trade and farms thousands of acres in Akalaka. Harlan has owned many of these tractors for decades, so seeing them go will be bittersweet. The buildings are jam-packed with pieces of history. Some have been in these buildings for more than a decade, and today they all must come out. This shed is extremely tight, so we're going to actually pull out some of the larger prairie tractors that are in the center here. That way we can get to some of these smaller tractors and uh, either pull some of those out, because we've got to get pictures and some we'll get video on, so uh, we'd like to get the big ones out that way to make up a little room here because it's so tight. So, uh, and we want to have some video of them running and uh, kind of show them off a little bit. So we're gonna, we're gonna start uh, working on some of these, uh, filling up, making sure everything's oiled, greased, uh, fresh gas, uh, so we can get them running and uh, run them around a little bit and make some room up here. Starting a 100 year old tractor isn't just like turning a key. These heavy antiques must be lubricated, filled with water and fueled up. It is a daunting task to get this many tractors running. Luckily, there's a team of passionate collectors here who have decades of experience working on tractors like these. The team includes Dutch, an early engine and vintage power collector from California, Kevin and Benjamin, a father and son who owned several early tractors in North Dakota, Mac, an antique tractor and engine collector from Arizona. Dean, a collector and early tractor mechanic from North Dakota. And Mitch, a magneto specialist and antique tractor collector from Michigan. It's still early, but there's a lot of tractors to move and not much time to do it. This Rumley Model S is the first to go. It needs to be moved so all the other tractors can come out. Usually, this tractor starts right up, but today it's got an audience and doesn't feel like performing. The Rumley wasn't cooperating, so they're giving the old two-cylinder a turn. You want to make some kind of smart-ass comment about having to belt it up to a deer? Got to have a good pony motor somewhere. <laughs> Brian Holst is new to the Almond team. Brian worked for 19 years with the John Deere Company as their historical equipment manager. His job included preserving and acquiring historically significant items for the company. Brian has decades of experience with the John Deere brand and shares that passion in the items he collects. When we come back, we'll find out what Alex is up to in Kansas and see if the John Deere has the power to pull over the Rumley. <laughs> 